Solutions are homogeneous mixtures that are defined by their components or their composition and the concentrations of those components. This short learning module will help you brush up on your concentration measurement calculations. We are going to use primarily three different units of measure for concentration, molarity, molality, and mole fraction. Molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute per liter of solution. This is sometimes abbreviated capital M or a solution will be referred to for example as a one molar solution and that means one mole per liter for example. Molality is another a common unit of concentration measure that's used by the chemist. This unit, molality, is defined as the moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. The abbreviation that's commonly used is lowercase m for molality, and if you're going to talk about a solution that, say, has one mole solute per kilogram of solvent, then the term is one molal. Okay, so we have molar versus molal. They both have, are defined in terms of the moles of the solute, but what's different is for molarity, you're looking at liters of solution, whereas molality, you're looking at kilogram of solvent. The third unit of measure that we're going to look at here is something called mole fraction. Mole fraction is the number of moles of one part of your, solution, of your solution, say moles of A, divided by the total number of moles in your um, particular solution. So if it's, a, if it's a solution that's got one solute and one solvent, uh, and the, the, you're, con you're concerned about the mole fraction of the solute, let's call it A, then um, it would be the, um, further defined as the number of moles of A divided by the number of moles of A plus, whoops, plus the number of moles of B, if you had a two component system that was A and B. Um, this mole fraction is abbreviated capital X, and sometimes it's sort of a italic type X, and if you're talking about the mole fraction of a particular component, you'd say like mole fraction of A is equal to the moles of A over the total moles. And of course, a mole fraction, since you're dividing the moles by the moles, um, is a unitless um, unit.